Ukraine says it never refused to negotiate with Russia. Wants talks with Putin's successor. Here's a summary of the article. We process your data to deliver content or advertisements and measure the delivery of such content or advertisements to extract insights about our website. Your device can receive and send information that allows you to see and interact with ads and content. Personalized ads and content. Ad and content measurement. Audience insights and product development. Personalized ads can be shown to you based on a profile about you. A profile can be built about you and your interests to show you personalized content that is relevant to you. Personalized content can be shown to you based on a profile about you. Ads can be shown to you based on the content you're viewing, the app you're using, your approximate location, or your device type. This post received a score of 36,000, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Boy that headline got spicy right there at the end. I got my hopes up that I had missed a headline about Putin tragically falling down multiple flights of stairs and then shooting himself three times in the back of the head. No no it's fell down ten flights of stairs, tumbled out of a window, on some bullets, face up. He fell down eight flights of stairs. This is a two-story building. He did it four times. I see. And the gunshot wound? He wanted to make sure. And the second gunshot wound. Was doctor. Was mercy after all rest. Did the doctor also prescribe the massive dose of risin and polonium found in his system? Of course, for the pain. So, was it the doctor who also performed defenestration? Reminds me of a line from Black Mass. Just make him an offer for the company. Tried. Wouldn't sell. Would his widow sell? Forgot about that movie. Depp was V powerful. Oh? Mass not? Mesa. Damn. Yeah, I was trying to remember when the G-man said this and then I reread. TLDR. Here is the quote alternative link for those who get a soft paywall. Perfectly logical. You can't be any more reasonable than that considering Russia is slaughtering your people by the hour. The big question to me is where Ukraine comes down on Crimea. That seems like an absolute red line for Putin. Something he'd never accept. Fuck him, Crimea was illegally stolen. It needs to be returned to Ukraine. But it'll almost definitely be a non-starter with Putin. The war will drag on as a result. More 20-year-old clueless kids are going to die horribly. What I would like to know is if Russia can feasibly keep the war going, and how much weapons, supplies, vehicles and armor he has to sustain it. I'm sure he still has a lot. But at what point does he simply run out of something? Because I read often that troops get rusty rifles and vehicles and tanks get blown up left and right, but they just keep coming. Kinda seems like to me Russia is in a state of total war. So the answer is as far as desperation will carry them while he's alive. It's Russia's big lie. Total special operation. Putin's pre-war speeches revealed that he considers all of Ukraine to be an illegitimate state that was unfairly carved out of Russia. He was not just talking about Donbass and Crimea. Russia has been somewhat effective in misleading the West into thinking that the conquest is only about Donbass and Crimea. Meanwhile Russian officials all the way up to Putin himself have been hinting or outright stating that the war is about annexing all of Ukraine. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.